Hi everybody, in today's video you will see how staying and sticking with your plan can make you 20 pips in less than an hour, so stay tuned. Good morning everybody, it's the um, uh, Thursday the 7th of February and this is my pre-market analysis. So I just got, I just woke up and what we have here is USD CAD still, well now it's currently trending on our one and I'm not looking to get involved because I don't see any patterns on the radar. But however, if you're a trend trader, I uh, can see here, uh, this is your initial point. This is initial structure high, pullback, new structure high. So you would look in to get a price back into this this kill zone here if it if it does then you would look to get long if that's one of your you know in your trading portfolio if you backtest and all of that stuff so nothing here for me uh give me a sec there might be something let's see 60 nah nah nah, nah no not nothing okay let's move for to aussie cad on aussie cad what do we have here uh, I think nothing. Yeah, there is nothing here. Just a, just some, just a mess. Nothing here for me. I'll just move forward. Aussie USD. This is something that we call a falling channel. And the RSI went overbought here. Then it's sli slightly. There is the, the divergence if you if you see here. And yet it's making new lows. So I believe the price will 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 bounce back until this level. I think so. So I will just mark it for the fun of it because eventually I will start I will start uh, testing those as well. So yeah, I believe the price will go. It doesn't need to, but I think it will reach around this level. Then could bounce uh, bounce back down and make a new low. We will see. Now euro dollar still nothing. Still still okay. It's it's, it's making new lows and new lows on RSI. I see nothing here, so yeah, it's just sliding slowly. The market is very, very slow. Nothing here for me, and uh, it's Thursday. Uh, probably gonna be one trade in this week. Okay, we might have something in here. Depends on this thing right there. Did we touch the 61.50? No, we have nothing, guys. So the idea was maybe we have up oh, sorry maybe we would have a bad pattern something like the X to A A to B B to C and then C to D here but the thing is that we didn't touch the 50 yet we might but then it we are far far away from uh, the bad completion which obviously probably not obviously but probably not gonna complete today so I'm gonna skip it. And pound yen, okay, there was a pattern here, I believe so. For those who are trading the uh, uh, Asia session, this could be a pattern. Yes, this might be a pattern still for me. X to A, A to B, B to C, C to D here. So I'm gonna mark it up. This is a pattern. X to A, A to B, B to C. Let me bring my my fibs out again. This would be a bad. This is a bad. <laughs> Look at this, to the pip. So and I'm trading uh, G, uh, G, uh, pound yen until uh, six in the morning, GMT. Uh, actually five in the morning. I did explain this uh in the in one of the uh videos because uh, ninja trader the software that i use for backtesting is showing the close of a candle so ninja trader on this same candle will show four in the morning and the c trader is showing three in the morning so i backtested it and from ninja i got from 6 to 5 pm which is actually from 5 in the morning until 4 pm okay but as my country is one hour ahead and currently it's 4.30 here. I can trade it from 6 in the morning until 5 uh, p.m. Uh, my time. 
which means that for pound yen I can trade it from five in the uh, from six in the morning until oh, uh, twelve until noon my time. Okay. So anyway, for Barclay uh, for Garthly on pound yen, uh, there is no uh, additional filters besides six in the, uh, six in the morning and uh, one p.m. trading. Okay. Uh, so I'm just gonna put myself, and I, I need to I need to uh, I'm gonna set my orders up, okay? I need to set the alarm, but I think I I, I need to set my orders up. So let's see. Uh, one four one eight three two. So I'm forward. I, I need to uh, put two pips up because I'm uh, adding to account for spread and all of that stuff okay so set buy limit and i'm gonna buy 005 lots stop loss take profit place an order that's it and i'm gonna new order as well same thing that's good so stop loss will be I will show you where my stop loss will be now let's check out my let's check out the targets this would be my targets would be 38 as always and then we would be at 61 and my stop loss in that case you got a stop loss is 113 fib inversion so if you take if you take your uh, expansion, I'm gonna do it one once more. Put it here, get it back up to the peak. It's one ah. I need to add. One one three one one three. Okay. Opa, sorry guys. One one three point three. That that would be the level that I would look for my stop loss. I just backtested it this way. So, and if I if I dra drag normal fibs, but I have a trick with that minus thing that I showed you once, they align. So that's why I'm using the uh, same, you know, same Fibonacci retracement as a fib extension because it's it's much more simple than extensions, uh, but it's the same thing. Okay, that's it. One one three, the risk to reward. Let's check it out. So I'm risking what? How much pips? Twenty pips. Actually, forty pips because it's two positions. But I'm up. If if they hit targets, I'm gonna uh, make twenty pips and thirty five. So fifty five pips for the forty pips of risk. Uh, one to one and something. And I just gotta stick with my rules, and it will be a good trade. One more thing that I have to verify is how far away is this from my. Uh, it's more than. Okay, so we are four pips away. This this candle came four pips away from initial targets. If this candle would be one pip away from my targets, and then would reverse and hit targets like this one would, this one would then in that case I would not be able to trade this bad because I would find a move as being already done and I wouldn't expect it to go back down and hit targets again. Uh, with that being said, at least we have another potential something for today. So it might not be as boring as the other days, but let's see what happens. Thank you very much for staying and see you afternoon. Bye bye. Hi, hi, and welcome back to our afternoon session. Today was a great day in the market, and um, because it was a great day because we held to our plan and we hit targets one or our pound on our pound yen bad pattern. So, besides that, there was nothing much in the market. USD CAD, nothing on the Aussie CAD, nothing for us as well. Aussie USD, uh, this is the level that we projected to for price to go it kind of broke up and now i'm still expecting to for price to get up to in this level in this kill zone we will see how will this end up euro dollar still nothing for us pound dollar also i believe in the few of the in one or two videos before this one i had this flag pattern here something like this there's a flag pattern what the price did is, I said that I, I have no way of involving, uh, getting involved in this because I didn't backtest it. Price broke down, retested this, went, uh, 
pushed up a little bit and then finally it went down to the level uh, to this level where it bounced really hard to the upside currently I don't see this as a bullish I still see this as a bearish price but I wouldn't consider it uh, shorting all the way to the down uh, there is a chance for it to breach the previous outside return and that we find ourselves in no trend but in potential rotation of a trend with that being said that brings us to the, our pound yen trade we were eyeing this uh, bad pattern on the pound yen and this is what happened I actually had an inf a few Instagram stories about this so our price our entry was not here it was actually all the way to all the way on this side as you as you can see that was the uh, 88 88.6 the price came here to the pip uh, because we were front running for two pips we got activated for both of our positions and in the first 30 or 45 minutes or so or even in the first hour basically our targets one got hit as you can see here our targets one got hit we we closed around 20 something pips which is 80 euros or something uh, on this pair and uh, after our first target got hit we have we based on our my back testing plan we rolled our stop losses to break even and immediately the next hour because we we got engaged here immediately the next hour we got stopped out which was proven to be correct because after price rallied down and would have closed our both position even if we didn't uh, roll our stop losses with that being said uh, I have to put this information in my spreadsheet I kind of figure it out and uh, what you see here is the so minus 46 pips on euro dollar Gartley uh, we lost both our, our both of our positions however when I put today's uh, pattern in we will be down around 20 something pips uh, on Friday I will do my equity curve update which is basically currently just one single loss it will move up a little bit uh, after I put all of my positions in with that being said again hit that like button click that subscribe button and smash that bell button again thank you very much for staying until the end of this video and catch you up tomorrow morning bye bye